Happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday. TGIF. You got here. Jinx. Uh, yeah, that's right. Pinch poke, buy me a Coke. <laughs> I've never heard I that d- one. What about if I don't want to do either uh, above? <laughs> Neither pinch nor poke or by anyone. You never poke. did that in school? Never heard of that. Okay. Never heard of that either. Okay. I love it. Anyway. Hey, uh, happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> um, jinx or not. Um, a big weekend ahead. Weather looks pretty decent for one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, a little warm, but okay. Father's Day and also Juneteenth. Yes. We got a bunch of Juneteenth celebrations happening around our area. And Larry, you uh, caught up with the organizer of Pat the Juneteenth Jay. Festival. Yes. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, what an experience. And, and really, when you hear the story, it started right for the Southeast right here in Charlotte. That's amazing. Right. At so, the House of Africa. Take a look. Yeah. By the time Pap Najay moved to Charlotte in 1996, it had been 131 years since a Union general proclaimed in Galveston, Texas, that all slaves had been freed, an event that was celebrated as Juneteenth, at first in Texas and eventually throughout the South and beyond. And I got here, I say, why not Juneteenth right here in Charlotte? And that's how I started in 1997, over a quarter century ago. Juneteenth means a lot to Pep. He believes it's a great way to maintain a connection to a culture that goes back centuries. Use Juneteenth to educate about the rich culture of Africa and the powerful heritage. With the opening drum circle right here on Thomas Avenue, because we also believe that communication is the key of everything. And in African culture, drumming is symbol of communication. Pap's Juneteenth celebration has events that are all family friendly. In fact, they kick off the festivities with a day for kids. Teaching them about mask making, drum, uh, face painting, you name it, we got it there. Hosting the festival and seeing how much it has grown over the years makes Pat very proud. That Juneteenth Festival of the Carolinas have given birth to all the Juneteenth, not just in Charlotte, but in the Southeast and beyond. A celebration of history, freedom, and fun. That's what Juneteenth of the Carolinas is all about right here in Plaza Midwood on Thomas Avenue. Larry Sprinkle, back to you. So cool to check out the history there. I know. That whole area, they closed down Thomas. It's right right off Central Avenue, yeah. and it's closed off, and you come in, and it's just fam- it's very family-friendly. It's great culture, great music, great food. And didn't you yeah. say this morning that you did a story with him 26 yeah, years ago? When I went over there uh, yesterday, in fact, I was talking to him. He said, Larry, do you remember when we did this when we first started? I went, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Oh my God. You know, 26 years ago? 26 yeah. years ago. Wow. And, you know, when you think about it, he, he started it for the Southeast. It was nationwide, but not in the mm. Southeast. So it really started right here in Charlotte and has grown nationwide. Amazing. Yeah. It's a cool shop, too. And so a lot of events going, going on yes. yeah. uh, this weekend as well, right, Yes, Kia? that's right. So a lot to celebrate this weekend. If you're looking, we've got the info for you. So, again, Juneteenth is the federal holiday marking when the last slaves were told that they were free. So going over some events happening across the Carolina. If you're looking to participate, Bessemer City is hosting its fifth annual Juneteenth Festival. That's from 6 to 10 tonight in Centennial Park. There's going to be live music, dancing, food, and activities for the kids, of course. Then tomorrow, the North Carolina Juneteenth Unity Festival is happening. That's at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center. You'll find more than 100 black-owned companies, along with crafts and performances, and then that's from 1 to 5 p.m. And as folks wrap up at the Unity Festival, the Ada Jenkins Center is hosting its annual celebration. That starts at 4. There's free dinner for the first 400 people who stop by the welcome tent, so make sure you get there early. We've got a whole list of events that you can check out. That's going to be over on our website, WCNC.com, and, of course, on the WCNC Charlotte mobile app as well. So a lot going on this weekend, a lot for people to get into. I know where I will be starting then, Larry. Yeah. Of course, at the <laughs> yeah, House of Africa right there on Thomas Avenue, yeah. right off Central Avenue. You Good thing is you it. can get out there and go walk there. There's yeah. uh-huh. several other shops around there and, and uh, with, restaurants. With the music, and, yeah. you know, okay. and drum yeah. a little bit if you'd like to. They invite everybody to totally participate. And Kia yeah. said it looked like a museum, but yeah. you said you can buy everything. Everything in, in there. there. Now, when you walk, it, it, it's literally, it's almost overwhelming. You go, wow, he, can you have this much in one giant room? And it, uh-huh. there's several rooms in there, but it's, it's really worth it. And say hello to Pat. Pat is a good Pat. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll have yeah, to. Yeah. Oh, this is the perk of getting off at like 1130. Yeah. Yes. Or so. You guys like have a full day <laughs> almost. And of course, right. the Ada Jenkins Center doing amazing work. Yes. We've done so many stories on them. Yes. Such a special place. Every every community is celebrating Juneteenth. I I, I think my first Juneteenth event I ever went to was probably like 20-something years ago. And at the time, 
it just was not celebrated in many ways right. in many communities Without across doubt, the country. Yes. And I remember thinking, why don't more people know about this? And, 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 and why aren't more people doing something more about this? And then several now years it's ago, it's, it, yeah. it, it sort of picked up steam and I felt like uh, yes. became um, something that, that more people were talking about, rightfully so. And so, and now, it's actual holiday. Right. I mean, it, I think we kind of lose it in translation sometimes that this just became a federal holiday. I mean, what was this, two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so this is the only second celebration. Yeah. And, and I really do. I think this year the awareness is more than ever, and, and it's something that's it's family-friendly, open to anybody. Come by and learn. Mm -hmm. Learn about yeah. the cultures. That's a great thing. That, right. That when you think of the continent of Africa, the, the, you know, the hundred countries there, it's all represented right there on Thomas Avenue here in Charlotte and all across the Carolinas. Yeah. Yeah. We should add um, how we usually read your comments is not working on yeah. our computers. Our interface is but, not working. But um, please keep commenting below and let us know how you're going to be celebrating this weekend, what events you're going to be going to. Someone may say, oh, Hey, I didn't know about that event. But, well, of course, so. um, everything that Kia talked about is going to be on our website, too, WCNC.com, if you are looking for uh, celebrations to go to over the weekend as well. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Enjoy Juneteenth. Happy Father's Day to all the dads yes. out there. And then we'll see you back here next week. See you then. Bye, everybody.